week would have been one of the largest art fairs in the state, but for the first time in its 57-year history, the Uptown Art Fair was canceled because of the COVID-19 pandemic. WCCO's Mario Mo spoke to a business that's trying to help these artists stay afloat. The memories and stuff that it just brings back for us. It's not as big as it was last year by any means, but it's still lovely. Art enthusiasts were thrilled to get a taste of what is normally the largest art festival of the summer. When we knew the Uptown um, Art Fair was canceled this year due to COVID, we wanted to put on just a small event to support the local art community. Tanya Bryan turned the inside and outside of her Uptown boutique Local Motion into a mini Uptown Art Fair giving space for Minnesota artists to sell their creations during a week where they would normally sell the most. It's like 90% of my income comes from being in art fairs. Holly Keller makes handcrafted recycled children's toys. She's been able to move her business to online sales, but she says it's not making up for what she normally gains during the Uptown Art Fair. The loss of the art fairs is like this loss of um, kind of spirit and motivation because you don't get that opportunity to interact with the public and get all that feedback from them. This neighborhood has been hit twice this summer. There's the pandemic as well as extended closures and damage to businesses from all the riots, which is why Brian wanted to create this recovery opportunity. It's super easy to go to Amazon, but really, I mean, think about who you can support that's smaller and more local and the artist community is just hurting so much right now. In this space, there's many ways to support Minnesota artists, even by taking some of Minnesota home with you. The print that we bought is the Minnesota sky, skyline. The Minneapolis skyline. Yeah. yeah. I bought a beautiful um, painting that a lady made of Duluth where I used to live. If you missed out on this weekend, that's okay. They're going to be doing a second mini Uptown Art Festival the last weekend in September. They're going to be bringing in even more Minnesota artists for that one. We'll have all the details on WCCO.com. Reporting in Uptown, Mary Elmo's WCCO 4 News. Another way to show support is donating to the Uptown Association, which hosts the Uptown Art Fair each year. And we have that donation link under this story on WCCO.com.